All right, this is a 1930 Smith Corona Sterling, and it's a very popular style among collectors, but it is in a working condition. So let's do a typing demo and see how it performs. Um, again, on this one, the um, ribbon reversal is right here, and to switch between black and red is over here. This is a metal top, and you just have to pop it off and then you can change out the spool and then you can pop it back on. Um, the ribbon, you should be able to use it multiple times. That's what the reversal is for. So when you get to the end, reverse it and go back and you should be able to do that many times before you need to switch out the ribbon. That feels nice. It has a soft, um, bell, but it's not real loud. And it feeds well. Sometimes the old, especially the older ones, it'll have trouble feeding, but it feeds pretty good. Try the backspace. Okay, it does type. Um, you'll take a look at the photos. I will um, put some more type on here for you, for you to look at. Um, let's mark this, what it is. This is actually a Corona, not Smith Corona. This is before they merged. Um, Corona. Sterling. So, um, and you can see the, um, the font's not the best, but it definitely works. And it still is very suitable for any kind of typing project that you have. We've certainly seen font that's a little bit clearer than this one is, but you can look at the close-up images on the Etsy site so that you can see what it looks like. But I had no problem typing with it. The keys were nice and loose. The space bar felt strong, which you really want to look at because um, sometimes the space bar tends to go out on these older ones, but it felt really strong. And the carriage was working really well. So this is a great option for um, this style, for some reason, is very popular among men and for offices, libraries, and um, is definitely usable 
and you can see all the details or ask us questions on our Etsy site. Thank you so much.